it seems like there's times throughout the game, especially early on, when teams try to hunt the switch with you, and it doesn't always work out in their favor. Are you surprised teams still kind of go for that uh, this late in the season, Sean, with as much film you have out there doing well against ball handlers? Um, no, I'm not surprised. Uh, you know, uh, you know, we have to make teams, you know, respect us, you know, respect Detroit. So, you know, uh, I'm not sure if, you know, teams – even care about watching film when they play against us, obviously because our record and stuff. So I feel like as we continue to to build as a team and um, you know continue to get more wins and grab more attention throughout the league, then I feel like that you know my switches and defense will uh, you know be more on notice. I should say. For sure. When you look at, at Dallas, they have this is Lucas Fortis here. They've obviously had times to grow around him. When, with, with the addition of Katie, he plays a very similar game. Do you see you guys taking steps similar to Dallas has taken? Uh, I'm not sure. I just I feel like we're taking our own steps. Um, you know, I feel like we're not trying to mimic no other team, and you know, I feel like you know we're just trying to build, uh, build, build back up Detroit basketball. So, um, but Cade, um, you know, he's him for sure. Like uh, I told him, like he's the one. Like uh, you know, just the way he plays, uh, you know, the way he leads out there. Um, you know, those kind of players just don't come around 24-7. You mentioned watching film. How much did you watch on Luca and, and anticipate that they would try to switch that, like James said? On uh, yeah, I watched the switches, um, and, you know, I just watched film and, you know, just his tendencies and the way he likes to attack and stuff like that. So, I mean, I watched that against, you know, a lot of guards, um, just their tendencies and why I should be on, on notice for when I'm guarding. We talk about your three-point shooting a lot when it happens, but do you feel like you're at least more confident with the shot right now? It seems like you're just stepping into it a little more effortlessly uh, the last few weeks for sure. Yeah, just, um, you know, just uh, being able to shoot uh, and, you know, them giving me that green light to shoot three. So, uh, you know, something that you know I, I've been working on, something I have in my game. So uh, I'm pretty confident in shooting. We talked about Dwayne said at the beginning of the year they wanted you to kind of scale back on shooting the threes. Has there been a conversation – recently about you taking more of them as the season winds down or has it just oh, yeah. been natural? Uh, no, it has. Uh, you know, Coach Case, um, you know, he spoke to me and, uh, you know, he said, um, you know, he wants me to start shooting them and um, getting back to expanding my game. So, you know, I appreciate him for that. Appreciate it. In practice, it seems like at, at the ends of practices, at least, that you're working more on that three. Is that just the comfort level that you've established now that it, in the game it's more of something that you've been – that stroke is there for you. Yeah, um, you know, I work on it in practice, uh, and I just try to go game reps and, and uh, you know, make them feel like game shots. And, you know, the shots I took out there tonight felt like the ones I took in the last practice. Without any other center tonight, Brax obviously had to play, play a hitter spot when he came out. Uh, I know he's only been here a few weeks, but what are your impressions of him? Uh, he's great defensively, man. Um, you know, he's great at defense. Uh, you know, he's versatile, um, you know, he's a hard worker, he's tough. So, uh, you know, hats off to him. You know, he worked his way up from G League. I think he's like the last player drafted in that draft. So, you know, hats off to him. Uh, congrats. So, he's a good player. Thank you. Thank you.